He is perhaps the future of Spanish football and a player with the potential to fill the void left by the great Xavi, but there's something weird about Gavi's lifestyle, from his early life to his discreet love life, media scrutiny, flashy properties, and net worth. Let's dive into Gavi's mad lifestyle. Pablo Marin Paez Gavira was born on the 5th of August 2004 in Los Palacios y Villafranca, a city in the province of Seville in Spain, to a middle class family. His father, Pablo Paez, once worked in the hospitality industry as a waiter in a bar and later as a laundryman at Real Betis FC. While his mother, Gavinin Nanasi, is a homemaker, together they raise Gavi and his older sister, Aurora, who is now a primary school teacher. Young Gavi attended school but had a hard time combining his studies with his love for football, which was a predominant activity in his environment. Gavi would practice football in the morning and go to school in the afternoon. His love for the sport continued to grow to the extent that he decided to give it his full attention and turn pro. Gavi started out at age 6 with La Liara, a local club in the neighborhood where they lived and did amazing stuff on the pitch. Unusual for footballers his age, four years later he moved to the Real Batiste Academy in a deal which saw his father take up a laundry job with the club. Did you know that in one season Gavi scored a whopping 95 goals for Real Batiste's youth team? From that moment, the fame of this wonder kid began to rise, attracting the likes of Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid, and Barcelona. Barca finally got his signature in 2015 when Gavi turned 11. He honed his skills there for the next five years and signed his first professional contract with Barca in September 2020. He got promoted instantly from the under-16 to the under-19 team, but it wasn't until the start of the 2021 and 22 season that the midfielder made a senior team debut. His first goal came four months after. Fast forward to today, Gavi has made almost a century of appearances in all competitions for Barcelona. His contract with the club was extended to June 2026, and it contains a release clause set at 1 billion euros. That's how much the club values him. On the international scene, Gavi has played for Spain at under 15 and under 16 levels. In 2021, he was called up to the senior team by the manager, Luis Enrique. Gavi made his debut in Spain's victory over Italy in the UEFA Nations League semi-final and became the youngest player to ever represent Spain at senior level. Gavi's debut goal against the Czech Republic in the Nations League in June 2022 also made him the youngest player to ever score while representing Spain at a senior level. He also scored Spain's opening goal against Costa Rica at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar and played in all four games as Spain was edged out in the round of 16. Despite being compared to the likes of Xavi and Iniesta, as a teenager, Gavi's idol while growing up was actually PSG's midfield magician, Marco Verratti, who he loved for his composure. An excellent passer of the ball, able to weave his way out of tight spaces and initiate a counterattack, exceptional dribbling ability and near-perfect ball control technique all add up to make Gavi one of the most exciting midfielders, and it's no surprise that he won the 2022 Copa Trophy and the Golden Boy Award for being the best performing youngster in Europe under the age of 21. But it gets even weirder when you take a look at his lifestyle. Behind every successful football player, there's usually a stunning wag, but Gavi has remained silent on his relationship status, but something that isn't quite silent is the fact that the Prince of Spain has a huge crush on him. You see, after King Felipe VI asked Gavi to sign a shirt for his daughter Leonor, rumors began to spread that the princess had a crush on Gavi, and according to some reports, the Crown Princess has a folder full of pictures of the footballer. Also, once during an autograph session, a girl was seen sneaking a number to him on a piece of paper. The duo had a meet up afterwards, not a bad idea for a teenager who's still exploring the world. Hmm, I can only imagine what Prince Gavi would look like, but let's snap out of it and talk about his lifestyle. As the saying goes, a goldfish has no hiding place. The Spanish whiz kid has got an eye for the fine things of life, but is super modest despite his huge earnings. He enjoys sharing his achievements and holiday pictures on his social media. Through TikTok and Instagram, we get to see all the crazy stuff that the Spaniard is up to. Unlike many other players who flaunt their wealth recklessly, Gavi has made it clear that he won't go overboard with flashy stuff. He chooses to live a simple life amid the luxuries. Off the pitch, Gavi's personality shines through. His warm smile and amiable demeanor endear him to his fans. He has a massive female following, including the likes of the Princess of Spain. Gavi also loves to play video games, especially FIFA. He even has a 4-star skill moves rating. He's living the dream life most people can only fantasize about, and his luxurious properties are a testament to that fact. Let's have a look. When it comes to properties, 
Gavi's taste for quality is super impressive. The central midfielder lives in a furnished apartment in Barcelona with his family. The house has three bedrooms and three bathrooms, as well as a wine cellar in the kitchen, and is estimated to be worth $1 million. Moving on to cars, a quick tour of Gavi's garage will leave you shell-shocked. You'll find his Rolls-Royce Wraith, which has a 6.6-liter V12 engine and produces 591 horsepower and 900 newton meters of torque. The British Coupe has a top speed of 175 miles per hour and comes with a heavy price tag of $314,995. Next, you will find his Lamborghini Aventador, which can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds. It is worth $960,000, has a top speed of 217 miles per hour, and is powered by a thrilling 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 engine. Gavi's collection of cars also has a Ferrari California as well, which costs $250,000. Its top speed is 193 miles per hour and is powered by a 4.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine. Gavi is one of the richest teenagers in the game. His weekly wages at Barca are around 130,700 euros, which translates to almost 7 million euros yearly. He's currently endorsed by Nike, and we foresee more lucrative brand deals and endorsements with leading companies coming his way in the years to come. Presently though, the midfielder has a net worth of about $16 million. Gavi does a fair amount of charity work and for his age, it is quite impressive because he literally still has his whole career ahead of him. But despite being rich and easygoing, Gavi has been involved in more than a few controversies. To many, he comes across as having discipline and attitude problems and is often criticized for his attacking decisions on the pitch. Barca attempted to straighten him out but was forced to have a rethink and handle him gently considering his rising profile. Even his father once described him as mischievous and shy. Till date, Gavi doesn't do much talking and could be pretty unconventional on the pitch. There have also been controversies about his love life, which remains unknown to the public. But one thing is clear, our boy is in love with football. One major controversy that could have dealt him a huge blow was the rumor of his mother having an affair with Gerard Piquet. It was reported that one of the women whom Piquet cheated on Shakira with was Gavi's mom. Turns out that it was a cock and bull story. Another false rumor had it that the affair was between his sister Aurora and PK. This occurred when PK and Shakira were on the verge of a breakup after she reportedly caught him in their matrimonial bed with another woman. Thankfully, Gavi wasn't moved at all by these rumors. As the 2023 and 2024 season commences, all eyes would be on Gavi to prove that he is still one of the best young midfielders out there. But isn't it quite weird that Gavi often plays ball with untied shoelaces? Many fans were led to believe that it was some sort of superstitious ritual, but Barca coach Xavi Hernandez stated that Gavi just didn't know how to tie his shoelaces.